within within the uh, city. Okay. Um, and and when I, if I click on those, then I'm going to see the type of project, the size of the project, who the installer was. You really can associate any information that's in the database for the for that property. Okay. Okay, so that's the community page, or the community section. Any questions about that? Okay, continuing on. At any point in time, an individual can put in their address, okay? And they can do that at the beginning of the process. They can go in, straight into the application if they want to. Again, we associate everything with, with the uh, property. So I'm going to 214 Vernon Street. Um, which let's assume that's my property, although it isn't. Um, and you go right to that property, and again, you can see what's what's going on around you. So you can see what's happening in the neighborhood around you. Okay, uh, and then you can drill down into that, and continuing through the workflow, and you'll go to the property details. Okay, what we do is. Um, and part of the configuration at the beginning that we're that we're doing right now to get Santa Barbara up and going is uh, we 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 pre-populate a different number of different data sources, GIS data, property characteristic data, um, utility data, and and um, what we're trying to do is make this as simple and intuitive as we can for the user, so they don't have to go and do it themselves. Now they have the, the ability to go and change that information. This is energy information. I'm not going to go through all this unless you guys have questions about it. This is all the property property characteristic data, which has things like the building area, the, the, uh, the, the roof the roof area, the lot area, um, the yeah, year I'm built. Every residence. Yeah, we, we get that from every residence and business. That's really impressive. Basically, we take all of our property tax information and load it in. Preloaded in the system, so that you know all the characteristics of, of the properties that you're doing. And we know what type of property it is. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and then there's utility. And then what we also do is we integrate with your utility, the local utilities. So all the re rebates and incentives, um, rate information for the utility. And I guess in your case, it's half um, SE and half PG&E. Mostly PG&E, but it, it, whatever. It, it, if you had ten utilities, we we integrate ten utilities. It's all up to to your personal property footprint. I mean, individual can also go on at the beginning. This is very useful and go in, and if they've already implemented projects or they've done it through a different program, etc., they can go and select the different types types of projects and add that project onto the list. Okay. Once they're happy with what they have here with the data, which could be right away in many cases, then they, they hit save and they start planning and this takes you, progresses you through the workflow. And I'll, I'll remind you, at any point in time, if someone just wants to go to apply, they can apply, okay? Um, they don't have to do any of this up front. Um, what we have is, is a list of recommended projects. Again, these projects that are gonna be here are the recommended projects, so this, this is gonna be um, configured to support the program. And these are the projects for San Francisco. And this is where an individual can go and start looking at different, um, estimate the benefits of different types of solutions. So they can go and already have duct sealing and repair in there, and they can see an estimated cost. Um, the analytics that we use for the cost are all affiliated with, with the North Bay contractors right now. Um, we can configure that again however, you know, for the local community. And as we get more data, as, as time goes on, then we're going to be able to nail down, down those numbers to be more realistic of what the actual numbers are. But again, this is, this is not to replace someone going on site and doing a visit. It's to stimulate them, okay, to get you good, real good information for the vendor community so you can, uh, you know, have a jump start and you've also been uh, introduced to a consumer. Uh, and then, uh, and I'll add some other projects. As you add these projects, um, you're seeing the cost, um, you're seeing the, the estimated cost, and you're also seeing what the effect is in terms of energy reduction and carbon reduction. So on the right-hand side, you'll see the footprint dashboard. 
um, and we're showing that the current grid demand and forecast forecast demand, the money saved that you've saved so far, and again that's estimated, and then the carbon and energy reductions. We could also look at, I'll, I'll go and um, we have some configuration tools on the solar side. Um, this is a solar PV tool. Um, on the top of here, can you see, if you can see it, um, is the uh, demand met with solar from zero to 100%. As you move that along, you're going to see, in this case for San Francisco, it's all PG&E. We associate, um, we're, we're integrated with their tier structure. So they have five tiers. Um, and as you move along uh, the uh, system size, then you're going to see that affects what tier rate you're paying at. Okay, um, and everything else changes dynamically in the system. So you're seeing the, car, you know, the as you move this along, the carbon reductions changing, the energy reductions changing, your costs are changing. You'll see here is a list of the estimated costs and incentives. So we tie in all the CSI incentives, the federal incentives, the local incentives. Um, so you, you know where you're starting from, and then you know what you need to finance in the program. Uh, and, the, and, and then the program financing um, will, at, will estimate the monthly cost based on the terms of the financing, whether it's a 5, 10, 15, 20 year project, and in most cases in solar it's probably going to be a 20 year I would expect, and your finance rates, rates. and if you look at here you can really see sweet, an individual could really go in here and look at the sweet spot, and again it's just an estimate, estimate of of you know what what a, a solar installation would do. Okay, at any point in time, they can save this information, and when they save it, then it's gonna then you're gonna see um, we're gonna go back to the uh, project planning, and you're gonna see the effect of it that it has on your property footprint. Um, and I don't know if you can see the yellow versus the orange here, but the um, you know, you've got a significant reduction in your grid demand um, for energy. Um, and at any point in time now, an individual can go and say, okay, I, I want to save this, I'm done playing with this, I like this, I want to go and find vendors. Okay, so we'll hit the find vendor tab. And what this does is go to the list that David mentioned of, of registered uh, vendors that, have, that, that are approved vendors for the community and that, that can do these different types of projects. So there's, there's, there's a whole list of project types here, again, mapped to the program, the credentials. And here, this, these credentials are a little bit different than what we'll have for, for you guys. We're not going to have San Francisco Energy Watch on there. Um, and then the service type, okay? Are these alphabetical or how are they? Uh, we, we, yeah, yes, but we can understand, we can filter this however the county likes us to filter it. It's a database. So if they want to filter it by what's the closest location to where I'm at, then they can do, we can do that. Um, okay, so then you decide, okay, I want to add uh, Creative Energy Corporation to, my pro to this, these projects. And you'll see energy, Creative Energy Corporation over here. Uh, and what we do on behalf, if, if the individual consumer wants, is we'll then connect them to the vendor um, with an email to the, to the service provider's address, or they could call them on the phone, whatever they want, add a personal note, and this sends, I'm not going to send it right now, but th this will send the email to, to the service provider where they're going to get this project file, which shows all the information that they've gone through up to that point in time. So it's pretty good um, lead, I would say. Uh, and it's certainly a jump start. And all this information then, as we go along, gets brought into the application process so they don't have to go through this again. Okay, okay so I'm going to cancel that. Um, one thing I want to show you, though, is um, before I go much further, is is to get on here you need to register uh, we have a registration form already that we put together for our PCC that you guys will get access to by going to this class and uh, and what you need to do is 
take five or ten minutes and go through it, fill it in, and then 